Yo, we're going to talk about Vivica A. Fox. Kind of ironic she's running around talking about all of a sudden she's looking for a man and she's taking applications and all this. When you look at her when she was in a prime, like prime, prime, delicious prime. Around the time she made Independence Day, set it off. That was when she was like a prime beef rib. Like them ribs that they used to load on to Fred Flintstone's car and it would tip over. Like just prime. Delicious at that point. She wasn't thinking about settling down. She admitted herself to ghosting men. So how many men has she curved in her time? When she was in her prime. Looking all slim and nice. And now you look at her. And I don't know what the hell she did to her face. Right now her face looks her face looked like it got a face. She got the audacity to be sitting up here talking about oh. and she still what got me is she's still talking that boss woman talk. Like that's gonna turn guys on and make them want to date her more. Like like that's gonna have guys be like, Oh yeah, I gotta get with Vivica. She She's talking about she want a guy's fun and somebody to go on vacations with and a guy that's going to let me shop. And so basically all the things she's talking about, if you listen to her talk, she still got the mentality she had when she was younger. The only thing that's different now is at this point in her life, she probably not curving dudes like she used to because she knows she doesn't look like she used to. She knows it. She's seen herself look in the mirror. She's seen a reflection. That's probably why she did whatever she did to her face. That's not natural aging that's showing in her face. That's surgical. A surgical adaptation to what she used to look like. And she's still talking about being a boss lady, a guy that's not intimidated by her. And that's the issue that a lot of you ladies have that you don't have enough common sense to know it's not going to work for you. You think men want to deal with a combative woman, a woman that he has to conquer every day, a woman that goes out of her way to be adversarial instead of working with her man she wants to compete with her man you think men like that really and this is why at 60 years old she's currently saying well i would date any nationality i'm not i don't discriminate i'll date any nationality but when you when you were in your prime that was not the case, was it? Oh, no, that was not the case, was it? Really? And a lot of women are going to end up in the same direction, the same situation Vivica is in. 16, looking for a man. It's over for you. Remember that movie... What's that movie? The, the, it was a movie where the train brakes were cut. I think it was called like Silver. It wasn't Silver Bullet. That was that was a werewolf movie. I think it was Silver Streak. When they couldn't stop the train, and the train ended up running up into whatever it was Union Central or whatever it was, tearing up everything. This picture of Vivica Fox being tied to the front of that train before it hit the wall. That's exactly what her surgeon made her look like right now that's that's exactly what her face looks like right now talk about hit the wall face first she was riding silver streak into the wall because it's over and women like vivica who have that mindset going in the same direction thinking the same way she thinks when you hit that wall you're gonna be doing the same thing 
Now, she said she mentioned that she doesn't want to get on dating apps and stuff like that. She wants to meet people in person and see if they vibe and this and that. Which is ironic because she also said in the past that she has ghosted men before. So if you believe in karma, you know what karma is, you know what goes around comes around. So there's going to be a guy in your old age that you're going to, you're going to vibe with. You're going to think everything's fine. Like, okay, I can deal with this guy. I can deal with this guy. And that guy is going to go shoot. It's, it's only right. It's a universal law. What you did to that guy, and the guy you did that to when you were in your prime, he probably was really feeling you. He probably really liked you. He probably wanted to actually make you his wife. Ironically, you didn't want it then when you had the looks and the youthful looks and you could have children and all that at the time. You didn't want it then, but you want it now when you're 60 and you can't physically have any healthy kids. I don't care what nobody say. And there's going to be people out there that say, oh, it's possible with this and that. You know how many conceptions, not conceptions, you know how many, ah, I forgot the word for it, but you know how many things that has to go right and some things have to be manipulated by doctors and medicine to go right and even then not only there's a chance that the baby will come out with physical and mental health conditions there's no guarantee that you would even survive giving birth to a child at 60 years old you see you wouldn't think about that when you were in your prime because you were too busy ghosting men and curving men and I'll look at you. You're standing there, you're looking like the crypt keeper right now. No man is going to want you. No man worth his salt is going to want you. And any man that you... You might still be in a phase of dealing with men here and there. I, t I tell you the truth. Those men are just there to hit those old biscuits. They'll hit those old biscuits and then they'll ghost you like you used to ghost and curve men back in the day. That's the cycle that you are currently trapped in. And you basically sentence, you gave yourself a life sentence of living in that cycle. You're a hamster running on a hamster wheel, going nowhere. Because you made that choice back in the day when you were in your prime and you had a chance to get married, have children. The things that you claim that you want right now, you want a guy that you could travel with and have fun with and do all these things. You could have did it way back then, but you didn't want it then. You want it now, but now it's too late. You're done. You're finished. It's over for you. And you don't have any kids, so you don't have any grandkids. Because you, now you're in a stage of your life where you are a grandparent. And I'm sure you, whether you're wearing a weave that's black and silky or you're, you're dying portions of your hair because you got grays coming in. I know you got grays coming in. You can't fool nobody. You're, you're a human being like everybody else. You got grays in and you dying that stuff out. You just want to maintain your youth. You're getting Botox and face injections. Whatever, whatever they do now. At this stage in your life, you're probably 30% plastic. You're not even real anymore. You got the audacity to say you're finally ready to settle down. Well, I got news for you. It ain't going to happen. It's, it's over for you. And any woman following your lead, thinking that's the way to go, it's over for y'all too. So just go to the pet store, buy you some cats, make those your companions because that's all that's left for you and women that think like you. And that's all I got for y'all today. I just had to speak on this. So this, I ain't gonna lie, this irritated my soul because I, because I knew back in the day, the way she carried herself, the way she talked, 
I know she was curving a lot of good brothers. And even way back then, I was like, you know what? I know exactly what the future holds for her. Wait till she get in her 50s, 60s, and 70s. She's going to be one lonely heifer. And it's going to be her own fault. She made that choice. So be it. So that being said, I'm out. Take it how you want to take it.